find it hard to understand all those big science words. Yeah, it can be hard to relate to you. So that's why there's a podcast out there designed to break it all down and make it fun. It's called Seeking a Scientist. And joining us with more about it is Dr. Randall Hoffman. Correct, Hoffman. Hoffman <laughs> of uh, Stowers Institute and joining Stowers Institute and joining us live via Zoom is Kate the Chemist. Good morning to you both. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. And we're missing Kate in the studio today, but it's okay. Glad to have you on Zoom. Now, Randall, this really puts a focus on STEM education. Why is mm -hmm. it so crucial? Uh, STEM education is is so essential for scientists to. Uh, be able to connect the circle, right, to, to bring it full circle. So we devote our lives to studying, to creating knowledge, and we do it not only to satisfy our curiosity, but because we really want to help people. Yeah. Right? We want to help our families, our communities, and it's become so clear in the last few years that the last little bit of that equation is really making it count, right, making it matter. How does the knowledge we create actually have an impact in the world? Make and to count. do that, we have to educate people. We have to have people uh, be comfortable with science, the mm -hmm. process of science, and, uh, and to trust that we know what we're doing and to, um, you know, to, to be involved, as involved in that process as possible. Science can be fun, folks. Now, Kate, what drew you to science, and how have you been able to get the younger generation on board? Well, I'm really lucky. I had a fantastic high school chemistry teacher. So she would run around the classroom, light stuff on fire. Mrs. Paldrock, if you happen to be listening, I love you. Thank you so much. Uh, but honestly, ever since I was 15, I knew I wanted to be a chemist because of one teacher. And now I'm basically just trying to do what Mrs. Paldrock did for me. I'm trying to do that for the next generation. And I've been having so much fun hosting the podcast of Seeking a Scientist because we are interviewing brilliant, brilliant minds like Randall sitting right next to you and I get to ask him all my burning questions like tell me why you did this tell me why you did this and it's just been the day like the best best time ever okay are we blowing something up today that I, what happened to the fire darn it next time I want you guys to come back we're gonna blow something up I see. I but see. I'm excited about this podcast uh five episodes are uh, are out right now and there's right. like one more to go so what is like the most fascinating thing about the podcast for you Oh, uh, the, the creative process has been a lot of fun. So, so we had the ability to think, what do we want this podcast to be about? And it was this brainstorming session where we were able to think about, well, what are the problems that humanity faces right now? And what are the problems that are maybe just around the corner? Mm -hmm. And we got to be creative and just think about, well, what do we know? How could we potentially solve those problems when they arise? Yeah. And so that's been, uh, it's been a lot of fun to think about all those different uh, possibilities. Now, Kate, what would you say is the best episode to start with? Oh, you're going to make me pick? Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Just um, pick one. It's okay. We'll listen I'll, to the rest as well. Number one. Start with number one because we're talking about reversing aging. I mean, there's a scientist out there, David Sinclair, who's actually doing that. He's seen some amazing results. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but you've got to check out the episode because he's actually reversing aging. Oh my gosh. And we're just about to drop another episode on the multiverse. And believe it or not, there's actually real science in the multiverse. What? So, I mean, anything you could possibly be interested in, we are talking about it on this podcast. Okay, you got me totally interested now. Uh, I need to listen. But also, Kate... Uh, uh, what do you want people to know when it comes to the science field and how important is it? Well, personally, I mean, scientists are our modern day superheroes. We're the ones who got us out of the pandemic and moving forward to being together and actually celebrating life together. And so what I want people to see is that we're not nerds sitting in the corner with a notebook and like a calculator. We are out there just like you having a blast. Yeah. We're just asking questions and searching for answers. And it's been the, like such a dream to be able to do that with this team. And thank you for Stowers for supporting us. Yeah, uh, searching for answers and blowing things up. I like it. I'm jealous. <laughs> Randall, Kate, thank you both for joining us this morning. I Absolutely. am so excited to listen to this podcast. Now, for more about Seeking a Scientist, head to the website on your screen. The final episode drops July 12th, so don't miss it.